Just another game, really, and uh, just another game, honestly. That's all I really got to say about it. Three stretch of, of these four losses, you know, maybe the toughest opponents that you'll face in a consecutive stretch this year. What did you, you know, what do you think you learned about this team through that stretch? Uh, you know, you just you watch the film, you see what you could do better. Um, I think playing these tough opponents will, uh, you know, prepare us further down the road. But uh, you know, a loss is a loss, so. It's a lot to work on. Just got to get back to the drawing board. Keep believing in one another, believing in the coaches. How hard is it to contain that offense? It seemed like every time you guys made a push and got kind of close, they would go on a run every time. Just what problems did they create with their athleticism? And, yeah. uh, I wouldn't say they create problems. I would just say it's more us. I mean, Coach will probably tell you guys, you know, we're just too worried about our offense more than our defense, top to bottom. So, um, you know, there's some guys that really played hard tonight. I'm proud of them. But uh, it's just got to take more uh, – in the defensive end. What do you guys need to do to turn that around defensively? Because it has been, you know, CU scored, I think, 57 in the second half. Obviously, a big number to, today. Um, it's been several games that, that defensively you guys have struggled. What, what, what needs to change? Uh, we just got to, like you said, we just got to make sure, you know, defense win games, so that's got to be our number one priority. You know, our offense going to come to us and stuff like that, and we just got to come out and think, it, think of it as in, like, a defensive game. Come out, get stops, and then our offense to come to us, you know, in the floor of the game. Stops is the number one key. The numbers that stood out, though, is uh, you got scored in a paid 40 to 20, second half chances 23 to 11. So it like maybe it got a little bit tougher inside. And I mean, going against a lottery pick, so I mean, I think we did a pretty good job. I think Nico did a really good job. I praise him for that. I think he did a really good job. Stepped up to the challenge against Gafford. So I uh, wouldn't say we got to get tougher in the paint. I would just say, you know, um, defensively we need to be tougher, just more connected as a team. It's not one individual person or one individual spot on the floor. Just need to talk more, be more connected out there. With Gafford and just all of Arkansas's length, were you guys really anticipating them to take so many threes, especially just immediately? Uh. I mean, we watched film, you know, we went over like their personnel, stuff like that. We saw that, you know, they like to take a lot of shots from beyond the arc and stuff like that. And as you see today, you know, they just made a lot and stuff like that. So, yeah. Is it frustrating when they are going on those runs? You know they're about to bounce back and it's almost like there's not really much you can do to get the wheels turning. Uh, when you're on the court, you're not really thinking like that. You're just thinking about the next play and, um, you know, you're never really thinking like, oh, they're, you know, they're going to make a big run. Um, you're just thinking about, you know, we're going to make a run here, and you just stay positive and worry about your team and not the other team. Anthony, before the uh, season, we heard Aaron Bissell, but obviously he's a freshman, but he was the most talkative on the defensive end. Can you guys maybe lean on him from that example to be more connected on the defensive end? Uh, in basketball, you know, um, especially playing against a high-level team like that, uh, it can't be one, just one person. It's got to be literally everybody. Um, even on the bench, you know, call out the plays, um, remind us. So uh, it's got to be everyone, you know, one through however many people we got on Team 14, 13. Uh, yeah. you think communication is probably the biggest thing they go back on the defensive end right now? Uh, no, I would say effort. I would say effort and communication probably second. But effort for sure. With, you know, effort something that you guys can kind of control, is that um, something that maybe makes you, you know, keep your head up a little bit more knowing that, that that effort's something that you can get better at? Yeah, I say yeah. You know, it's just it's most uh it's mostly mental, you know. Like as long as you know, you know, you're giving your hundred and ten percent out there, you know, play defense and stuff like that, it should come to you. Is this a surprise to you guys that the effort is a concern right now? Did it feel like it might be something at the beginning of the season or just a new challenge? Surprise. Um, you know, tough night um, for us. Obviously, Arkansas got off to a fast start, um, you know, making shots. Took us a while kind of to, to, to catch any kind of a rhythm at all on, on offense. And obviously, they're a long athletic team. And, you know, some of their switching that they were able to do bothered us a little bit. Um, but, you know, that it, at, at the end of the day, um, in my opinion, I think that like, like a lot of teams do that are trying to grow and get better, um, I think we let our success on offense determine as a team and individually how we're going to play defense.
and and if you do that, you know, it's really the good teams, it's the other way around. You come out and you realize, all right, we got to play great defense. Doesn't matter what's happening. If we keep doing that, that's how we're going to get good shots on off. We're going to get out. We're going to get out in transition. We're going to share the ball. We're going to put pressure on the other team. And we're kind of still in this thing where, you know, something doesn't go well for us on offense, maybe individually um, or, as a, or as a team. I think we let that determine how we're going to play defense. And a lot of teams are in that boat, but we have to change that quickly uh, if we want that, if we want this to change. It was very disappointing, and you know, again, like there were times. I mean, there there were there were some periods. You know what I mean, where it was wasn't like it was all bad. But again, you got to be able against good team. You got to sustain it, and we just weren't able to sustain anything. I mean, anytime we tried to get anything going at all, um, we would make some going, and then we would we would make a mistake defensively, or we would gamble, or or reach, or or not talk. Uh, uh, um, or not block out, you know what I mean? When the shot goes up, somebody falls asleep, and um, we just weren't able to sustain anything. And and clearly, you got to play to beat a team like that. You know, for where, where we are, you got to play really well for long periods of time, and we were not able to do that. Uh, I don't know. But I mean, effort. I mean. Again, we didn't do a very good job of keeping the ball out of there. Now in the second half, I mean, they got an NBA player down there. I mean, you know, he's a he's a load, right? I mean, he he's able they're able to throw the ball up to the rim, or you know, there's a 50-50 ball in the paint. I mean, he's he comes up with it, and if he catches it in there, good luck. You know what I mean? I don't care what you're doing, you're walling him up. He's he's probably gonna finish or get fouled, and um, you know, so we didn't do very. And then I thought offensively for us. You know, I, I was really – I thought Chris Martin played terrific. I mean, he was two for ten, but I thought he was our best. He did a great job of getting in the lane. He created a ton of shots for – I thought his attitude was really good. He kept competing. Um, I love the way he played, but we didn't do enough of getting in the paint, playing off two feet, making the next pass. Um, they switched our ball screens, you know, tonight. Uh, um, we weren't able to get two to the ball there and, and create. And when they switched, we weren't able to – take advantage inside you know throw it in a big on a small and take advantage and um I don't know what do we end up shooting from the free throw line tonight I mean it's got to be better than that I guess it wasn't you know completely awful but um I thought that really hurt us some of the switching and you know but but yeah we didn't do a very good job You know, it's my biggest beef with our team right now. And if you can come to practice and you watch, I think we're just uh, – we don't talk. We don't talk. We don't communicate. And, and it's something, you know, we work on, you know, every day. But it's not in their nature. You know, it just it just isn't. And that's a lot of it with, with young people too. And, you know, some guys have to get out of their comfort zone. But it's something that's really important to being good. You know, if you watch – come in and you watch a, a, a really good team practice or defensive teams or any team in general, there's, a, they're, they're always, there's always chatter. They're always talking. They're over – communicating you know they're loud uh, uh, direct early uh, communication and, and we start we might do it at times uh, um, but man it's just not in our DNA and it's something that we just have to continue to work on and and, and, and to talk about it what I like is some of our fr- like Kendall Mork he does a good job of communicating I heard Chris Martin out there a little bit I heard Nico um, AB at times um, but we've got to be better communicators You know, I don't, I don't know. I, it's interesting you say that, you know, plus minus. I mean, you know, he still plays hard. I mean, he came in and he played hard, you know, and sometimes, you know, with the plus minus of, uh, of whatever was going on in the game, but it was nice, you know, when, when, when we were able to go and, and, and make our run, he was in there. And um, um, I don't know. But, you know, the reason he's been rewarded with some playing time is he's had a great attitude in practice. He talks, too, and, and tries, and, and I think he's going to get better that way. But, um, but, yeah, he was a bright spot tonight, I thought. Well, you know, but he picked up two fouls early, right? So they didn't play him in the first half. And I thought that was a huge key that we were not able to, when he was out of the game, you know, for long periods of time, that we were not able to attack more in the lane and, you know what I mean, and have and, and do a little bit better that way. And I thought that was a huge key. And then when he played, I thought he was really effective when he was out there on the court, you know what I mean, for the most part. So, um, you know, I'd say that part was okay. But, 
they got a lot of guys, man. I mean, they they made shots tonight too. Some of that was us not being able to contest, but they're a tough matchup for a lot of our guys. You got to get out there and guard those guys, and you know they're quicker than us at at, at some spots, and they put the ball on the floor, and and uh, um, you know it was a tough matchup. You got to give them credit too. They came out smoking today and made you know what? Where they make their first four threes, I think something like that, and you know, they really got off to a good start. So we weren't able to come out and really put the only time we ever put any pressure on this team was at that one point in the second half. You know, and, and we went, what, a 17-2 to two run or something? Like that. I think that's what it was. And then they call a timeout, and, again, we just were not able to, you know, fresh, we come out, took a bad shot, right? Took a bad shot of that freshman, I get it. But, heck, Kendall's got guts, man. I mean, he came out there, and I thought he competed really well. Freshman, that's going to happen sometimes, but I've got no beef with how he competed tonight. What happened out of that timeout? Just basically to go on about a 13-0 run out of that timeout. Well, if I remember, like, we came out, I think they scored on a play. It might have been an offensive rebound. I, I can't remember exactly how they scored. And then and then we came down and we ran a play. We'd been getting out. We finally had started to get to the paint here and create and spray it out. And Kendall comes down and we take a mid-range pull-up early that gets semi blot They come down, hit a three in transition right up. And the next thing you know – you know, the run started there, and, and I thought we kind of deflated our spirit a little bit. And, and maybe that's kind of what I'm talking about is that can't, you know, deflate your spirit. you got to play. But, hey, this team can score quickly. I mean, you make a mistake, you know, take a bad shot, turn it over, um, they're going to hurt you. What does it say about your team that <clears throat> their spirits weren't deflated before that? You know, they're down 20 plus, and then they do go on that run and cut to seven three quarters. Yeah, I, th that's the thing, you know. I, I, I'm not – I believe that th that these guys they they've shown that this year, you know that that they can do that and 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 they respond a lot of times in the right way, but it's just you know we got to be able to sustain something. I mean, heck, we can we can score sometimes in bunches and and we can do that. We we've, we've been able to do that and some guys are sharing in to to moving the ball, we can space the floor. Um but it's the other end, you know, and it's the other end, and we got to be a lot more consistent that way. And again, we can't we can't just get hopped up and play defense when we start making some shots, you know. You got to be able to sustain it no matter what's going on, and um, we know that. And it's just about you know continuing to work and get the guys to buy in, and that's what it's going to take. Now, hey, we played a tough stretch here, you know. When you do that against teams like this, you're going to get exposed. You know, you are. You're going to get exposed. I mean, make their, boom, they're going to score quickly. They're going to hurt you. You don't block out. They're going to go get the rebound. You know, Nico's not just going to go get it over two guys because they got athletes at every position. Um, but, you know, again, if you approach it the right way, uh, um, you can learn and get better, and that's the only choice we have. You talk about that stretch and, you know, maybe the, the most difficult stretch of this regular season on paper at least. I mean, what, what have you learned from those four losses? Um, like we said, uh, um, we're, we're, we better get a heck of a lot better defensively than we are. Hopefully, you know, that movie, you know, it shows our guys and our guys realize that. Um, you know, it shows me that, you know, I think we are making some growth uh, um, with how our guys approach things. And I think we've practiced better lately. I know it didn't show up today necessarily defensively, but I think that we have. And if we continue to do that and approach it the right way, I think we'll get better. These guys show that, you know, they, they don't quit. Um, I'm starting to see some of these guys that really have a fighting spirit to them. Um, I like the way the young guys fight. I do. I like the way that they compete, and I think they're growing and learning and getting better. Um, Chris Martin looks to me like, you know what I mean, a guy who can really have an impact. And, again, I love the way he played today. He was not making shots, but I thought he was continuing to be aggressive. He was looking for other guys and creating offense, and I thought, you know, his spirit was good. And, and uh, so I like that. That was a real positive. I mean, it's probably all of that, Rich. You know, it's it's probably all that. I mean, eventually, it's like I told the guys at halftime. You know, if we talk about, you know, communication's contagious too. It is. Communication's contagious, and and you know, sometimes you just got to be chatty. You know, come down. Hey, I got the ball. Um, whatever it is, you know, communicate loud, almost in a way. And all of a sudden, well, he does it. Well, then what happens? Well, the next guy he talks, and and I think that stuff can get. And so we need some guys who are really going to buy into that. You know, every day, and hopefully it just starts to become contagious, and it becomes an expectation. Uh, um, but man, it's something that we really, you know, try to focus on, you know, in practice, and it's not in their DNA. Uh, um, but they're getting better, and they'll, I, they'll get better. They will. They'll get better. You brought up Chris. You've inserted and taken out Adam a couple times in the starting lineup. Is there a thought that you might insert Chris in the starting lineup for this? You, you know, I don't know. I mean, I know that stuff matters to players. Um, 
but it's not going to change him much. Chris plays in some ways. I kind of like Chris coming off the bench, you know, right away, kind of the six man, you know, role. I, th- I kind of like that. Um, personally, he may not always like that. I'm just kidding. I mean, Chris, Chris is, Chris is just happy to be back playing. He really is. I mean, he, he sat out last year, you know, he missed some games. He's happy to be back playing. And, and so, um, um, obviously I started him in the second half today. Part of that was Adam had three fouls. I didn't want him to pick up, you know, a quick foul there in the second half, but, but I don't know. I just, I don't worry about that stuff. I just worry about who plays and who finishes the games. What have you learned about Chris and his ability to adapt to that role coming off the bench? What are the biggest things you've learned about him so far? I mean, it's, you know, we're still, we're still early in the stages to learn about. But, again, I, I just – no matter where they came off the bench start, doesn't matter to me. I like the way he played tonight. You know, I, I like that. Even though he was two for ten, I thought he was continuing to do a lot of good things for this team. I thought he was not – now, his defense has to get better too. Um, he's a, He's got some talent individually, defensively. He's got to be, you know, more in lockstep with what we're doing as a team. But, again, I thought his mentality was good tonight. And if he does that, he's going to continue to learn and grow and get better in every game he plays. He'll get better. He will. Is that a mentality you've seen from him before? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think he's got the willingness to compete on that end. I think he does. And – and uh, um, but again, I, I think he can be a great two-way player for us, and he's a guy that yeah, not can just he can score, but I like when he's also trying to get other guys shot. I think that's contagious when your players are you know trying to create shots for others and and sharing the ball that way. I think that stuff's contagious, just like talks contagious, just like somebody you know taking a charge defensively or ripping down a rebound or you know deflecting a ball in the gap. I mean, those things bring energy you know to your team, and and we've just got to get more of that. they're all they're all different right I mean I I I I think that it's the it's dominating the details a little bit more you know showing that hey okay you do some things and some good stretches here but like look I mean you know if if we had just you know jumped to the ball here or just sprinted back and loaded I I can go on and on you know boy the shot goes up and you've done it and all of a sudden you know oh you fall asleep and you decide you're not going to go re you know uh, block out a guy and he comes up we've just played great defense for a whole possession the shot goes up you get him to take a tough one and then bam and it's just it's the little things like that they're not little I mean one thing I when you realize the consequences of not doing the little things you realize there are no little things do you know what I mean? Like, you realize that there are no little things. Like, everything matters, you know? And heck, it mattered Saturday at CU, right? A couple plays, uh, they're there, have a chance to come out of there a winner. And, you know, this margin was bigger, but to me, that's, that's what it's about. We've got to do a better job of dominating the details.